you got to dig down deep, get to the trauma. You got to figure, identify it with them, not for them, but with them. When you identify it with them, you got to give them a path. And this is what the, the case manager does is keeps them on that path of recovery for five years. So it's not just about consequences either. You know, I hate when people say it's all about consequences. You got it. You know, that's punitive. That's, you know, that's, that doesn't work either. You're not going to shame somebody into recovery. So you could motivate them to get into recovery, but then you need to have the goal, the, 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 the goals that they set for themselves. Where's their passion? So how does that person, you know, have a life that I'm able, I, that's a gift, you know, and the only way I could decipher that is that it's this path that I've been putting first and foremost, that's number one on my life, that that path is more important than money, relationship, than anything else in my entire life. And as long as I keep that number one, and, you know, and that's a spiritual connection is what it ends up being when you get into recovery. You know, as long as I keep that number one, all the dreams and, and, and dreams become reality. That's really inspiring because I think one of the things that has to happen as you're entering into recovery is to believe that it's possible to be in long-term recovery and to see, to see what life is like after you're in long-term recovery. And it's completely different than what it is when you're in the addiction. Mm -hmm. Completely. Cause you don't like, I love the way you put it. You're, you're in survival mode, period. Yeah. You are just trying to get to the end of that day without getting beat up, without feeling pain, without feeling invisible, without feeling, you know, ignored, without feeling, you know, you don't matter. You know, you're just trying to get through that day without feeling those emotions. That's all life is about. You're trying to make, you're trying to survive. And the gift of recovery is, you know, yeah, I go back and I feel those, but now I use my trauma as rocket fuel to reach, you know, to understand, number one, and be compassionate for that person that's there and be able to be nurturing to guide them out of it. And I use that trauma as rocket fuel to get to the next level of where I want to be in my life. Go to killabycenter.com. Radical Recovery Summit. For access to the interviews, you can watch them free online for 48 hours after they air, or you could purchase an all-access pass. KillabyCenter.com.